It's Monday morning and as usual I start my day off by eating breakfast because as they say without breakfast the uh, hero doesn't work best. In my last devlog episode I was being roasted because of how I cooked my eggs so today I'm scrambling them because you can't really scramble your eggs wrong I, I don't think anyway. And just like that we're ready for breakfast. Wait. And just like that, we're ready for breakfast. I study computer science here at a university in Norway and don't have classes until 12, so I'm gonna get some work done on my game before that. The first thing I do is write down everything that I wanna get done during the day. It really helps me structure everything and not get sidetracked. The first thing I'm working on today is some viewer feedback, and someone mentioned their concern about how weak the club feels, and I totally agree. It feels like it's kind of made out of paper, so we're gonna start off the day by making the club look heavier. The first thing I'm doing is adding a shockwave effect. But we have a bit of a problem, I don't know the first thing about shaders, but what do developers do when they don't have the answer? They either look up a Brackis video or find another tutorial on it. So I found a tutorial on just the thing I was looking for and there is a link in the description down below if you're interested. And following this tutorial I got a better understanding of how shaders work and I managed to implement the effect. So here you can see it in action, it's kind of hard to see it because it's just a distortion effect but it looks kind of like a heat wave. Then I used Unity's particle system to make a smoke effect. I added a point effector which essentially applies force to a specific point so I can throw players away from the actual shockwave. I put them all together and here is the result of the effect. Now I need to make a quick script that spawns the impact if the club hits the ground hard enough. And here is the result, it feels very heavy, very nice, I'm happy with the outcome of this, but now I have to head off for university because my classes are coming up. I'm currently working on a project with four other people where we are making a 2D tank game. It's written in Java using libgdx and it's still very early so it looks kind of terrible uh, and I've been mainly working on all the engine specific stuff as well as making a map editor. But we've been working for four hours now so I'm gonna go head home and get some dinner. Dinner is done and I now want to get back to working on my game. So I have another suggestion from a viewer that I really want to implement, which is adding a chest that spawns random items. And this chest is going to be randomly spawned across the world, just like Fortnite. And I think that will add some diversity and fun to the game. Here you can see the chest in game, it doesn't really do anything useful yet, just like me, so I have to put together a script that makes it work. I made this very short script that should spawn a random weapon, so let's see how it works, and it doesn't work at all. Well for now I'm gonna head over to the gym and get some workout done, and then when I come back I'll hopefully be able to fix this problem. Okay, and I'm back from the gym, I've had a quick shower, gotten some food, and the problem has now been fixed. But it's getting pretty late, so I'm gonna head off now and go to sleep. Okay. 